Impact Wrestling presents Sacrifice Live. Friday, March 24th on Impact Plus and Fight. That is still to come here on Access TV, but before we get to that, it is time for our main event, and we have a special guest coming to commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, the Virtuosa, Deanna Purrazzo. The Virtuosa naturally has a vested interest in this matchup. We are getting ready for the Knockouts World Title match. Mickey James set to defend against Giselle Shaw. It was Shaw who, thanks to a lot of help from Jay Vidal and Savannah Evans of the Countdown and No Surrender, defeated Tiana Peraza. Oh my God, it's so good to see you again. Show respect. Uh, Thank one, you. Uh, Thank wonderful. You. Uh, your headset. What an absolute pleasure and honor, as always, to have the Virtuosa at ringside to make the main event truly a main event. Truly a main event. It wouldn't be a main event without main event D. That's what I'm saying. That's very true. And Deanna, this is uh, complicated for you. You have a rough history with Mickey James, but also what happened with Giselle Shaw at Countdown and No Surrender. Not exactly fantastic. Not fantastic, but I have a front row seat to both of my competition. This is a knockout world championship match set for one fall. If you're going to receive first the challenger, accompanied to the ring by Savannah Evans and Jay Vidal, the quintessential diva, Giselle Shaw. Every Wednesday night, check out the new hit series, The Power Hour. Tune in for the hottest music videos and latest news in the world of rock, featuring exclusive interviews with Dave Mustaine, Alice Cooper, and so much more. Wednesdays at 10 Eastern here on Access TV. And also, the quintessential diva would be furious with us if we didn't mention that this coming Tuesday, March 14th, on Impact's YouTube channel at noon Eastern, it's Giselle Shaw's edition of the Fight Network original series, Diary. Her opponent from Richmond, Virginia, she is the Knockouts World Champion, Hardcore Country, Mickey James. And a very bold decision of Mickey James to go ahead and offer this opportunity to to Giselle Shaw almost out of nowhere, and Gail Kim made it official. Tiana, this is uh, bittersweet for you. In fact, it was in this building at Bound for Glory 2021. Mickey James, once upon a time, defeated you for that very championship. So I gotta ask, how are you feeling about this matchup? You know what, I'm excited to see my competition up close and personal. This, this building has a lot of history for me, but I'm excited that Mickey's being a fighting champion. If I can respect anything, it's a fighting champion. Absolutely. A shout out to our friends within Anthem, Invicta FC 52, Machado versus McCormack goes down next Wednesday, March 15th at 9 p.m. Eastern at RealWorks in Denver. It'll be live on Invicta's official YouTube channel and Facebook page here on Access TV in the U.S. and Fight Network in Canada. Tickets are on sale now via InvictaFC.com. I gotta say though, Gianna, you I have to imagine you feel at least somewhat similar to me. I mean, Giselle Shaw, if you have a little bit of respect for the gusto, coming I think you know what it's like to come in here, kick the door in and try to take over, but quite frankly, I think she probably picked the wrong person to do that with with you, am I right? Absolutely. I, I am the virtuoso. So revenge is best served cold. Um, and I'm just waiting for my opportunity to get my hands on Giselle Straw once again. And I mean, you've served her a couple other dishes pretty cold too. <laughs> I don't want to make any chili references for anybody listening, but if you know, you know. So here we go. It's Shaw versus James for the Knockouts World Championship, as was mentioned last week by Mickey James. James does own a victory over Giselle Shaw. It was a part of the last rodeo late last year at the Victory Road event. It was a spectacular match then. I expect the same here. But however, this has been a bit of a, a challenging night for Mickey James. Remember earlier on this evening, the altercation between Tommy Dreamer, Bully Ray, Masha Slamovich, and Mickey. And now, so Mickey James worrying about her friend Tommy Dreamer, everything that happened with Masha Slamovich, potentially Jordan Grace on the horizon, and now dealing with Giselle Shaw. Where is her head at? Exactly. I mean, is she spreading herself too thin? And the virtuoso is here. Always, always, always watching over this I'm entire watching. division like from to a top. I'd put my hand in that pot for That's the Knockouts right. World Championship. And for Shaw, uh, Huddling up with her corner, Jay Vidal, her executive stylist, and Savannah Evans, who uh, was dubbed as the head of personal security for Giselle Shaw. Deanna, 
What do you think of that? Uh, you know what? Savannah has proved if I could steal uh, some verbiage from a friend of mine to be a non-factor every other time she's in a faction. So I don't know that that's going to be the best move for Giselle Shaw bringing Savannah in. Plus, I mean, it's not quite a tag team situation, but we know Shaw just in general doesn't really work well with others within units. Exactly. We have two people who don't work well with other people. What's going to happen, Tom? We have Shaw building an entourage around herself. Uh, Vidal has helped her win multiple matches, and the same Ooh. for Savannah Evans against you at the countdown to no surrender. That was, uh, I'll, I'll call it, an unfair fight. Now James. Trying to battle back here against Giselle Shaw. Shaw trying to control the five-time Knockouts World Champion. But there's absolutely something to be said for oh. what Shaw told Mickey James that when Mickey did beat her during the last rodeo, that was, that was a different Giselle Shaw when she has now embraced this whole idea that she will implode any team she's with. She will crush any group she's a part of. She wants to be the Black Widow. Like credit for trying to make that work for her, but will it pay off? I don't know. We'll see. Shaw through the ropes. Title can only change hands via pinfall or submission Whoa. inside the oh. ring and a neck breaker by James. James taking advantage of the environment. Shaw is down. Can James retain or knock out the world title? This match continues here in Vegas. Oh, and we are back here on Impact Wrestling and Access TV. This is our main event, the Knockouts World Championship on the line as Mickey James defends against Giselle Shaw. And joining us on commentary, two-time Knockouts World Champion, Deanna Perrazzo. Uh, you have a vested interest regarding both these knockouts. I do. You know what? I want to be a three-time Knockouts World Champion, Tom. So I have my eye on Mickey James, but I also have my eye specifically on Giselle Shaw right now. And a multi-time champ champ, may I, may I, I would add. just like yes. to say, yes, yes. I invented champ, the yeah. champ champ. Champ champ. Good God, Hannafin. He never gets it right. He never remembers. Never. He, it's so hard. disrespectful. Very I appreciate your pursuits. And let's not forget, two weeks from tomorrow, Friday, March 24th, in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, it's Sacrifice Live on Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders. Jordan Grace has a contractual rematch for the Knockouts World title following Hard to Kill. Oh, she awaits the winner of this match. Jordan Grace, who in all kinds of pursuits, she's been getting into the absolute premier shape of her Shaw, career. Shaw trying to win the championship kick out. And so she will be absolutely prepared for that match come sacrifice whoever comes out of this the victor. Deanna, what do you think of the uh, transformation of Grace? It is absolutely incredible. And you know what? Jordan's competition that she's been training hard for is just one week after that match at Sacrifice. So she's going to be in even better shape than she is right now leading into that match. And plenty ticked off. <laughs> she wants her championship <laughs> back. Oh! Speaking of ticked off, looks like Shaw's getting oh. ticked off and Mickey is fighting back and with some fury. Big shots here to Shaw. Shaw's got a lot of backup on the outside. Uh, Jay Vidal and Savannah Evans. Gotta keep an eye on that. Jane's gotta have eyes in the back of her head at all times when those two are around. Oh! I mean, what, Deanna, I gotta ask, what do you think it is about Shaw that, quite frankly, drew her to you, to draw her ire towards you? Why would she pick someone like you to even mess with? I think that I might not be the Knockouts World Champion right now, but beating the virtuosa Deanna Prazo holds weight in this company. If she can beat me, and unfortunately she did, that matters, that means something. That put her in this position today. So I understand why I still have a target on my back, championship or not. That's exactly what I was saying when this match got made. I mean, you having, that's an incredible feat, even if it was by nefarious means. Oh, big but shot what, there by James. What an addition to her resume, oh. and that gave her this opportunity. Exactly, she should be thanking me. Oh. Everyone should. Big <laughs> right hand by Shaw. James trying to right the ship here in our main event. Oh, big right by Shaw again. And I admit that is where Shaw can thrive. She's got some of these heavy strikes, that knee strike that Denouement in particular is really quite nasty. And now got James in a very, very rough position. On the outside, Jay Vidal, the executive stylist of Giselle Shaw. Meanwhile, Savannah Evans, the head of personal security for Shaw. And look at this. 
Mickey James trying to get to the bottom rope to break up this submission attempt here to hold on to her championship. Gets to the bottom rope, that'll break it up. And Shaw taking pretty much every bit of that five count to add a little extra stank on it. Now Shaw just trying to control Mickey James. Easier said than done. Deanna, how do you keep Mickey James down? Mm, good question. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I haven't quite figured it out. That's part of why you're here, right? Exactly. I mean, continue it. Always learn, always be coming better and better and better. Back elbow by James. Oh, look at this. Grabbing Shaw and down goes Shaw with a head scissors. And now the door. It swung wide open from Mickey James here. And Mickey James dropping Giselle Shaw. Oh, and a flapjack and a kip up by Mickey James. And James is feeling it. But has the damage been done? You see they're clutching at her collarbone. Those chops are no joke. No, absolutely not. And now Mickey James is thinking about going up top here. Giselle Shaw is down. Great opportunity for James. James likes to hit that senton. Can she connect here? Oh, oh. And Shaw sensed it and got out of dodge. And James still perched up top there. Look out below! Oh, oh. Mickey James taking out Vidal and Evans. Oh, and Shaw capitalizes. One more time, Shaw taking advantage of a distraction. Take one more look at this. Shaw able to avoid catastrophe, and James instead took out Padal and Evans, but Shaw turned it around. The to cover capture here. the Knockouts World Championship and a kick out. And Deanna, what would Impact Wrestling look like with Giselle Shaw oh. as the Knockouts World Champion? Oh, but on the, it would be a absolute nightmare, okay? Oh. It would just give us all the more reason to see the virtuosa step up exactly. and take it back. I mean, how great would it be for Sacrifice to be Deanna Prazo becoming the new Knockouts World Champion instead? Oh my God, it would be poetic. Uh, Jordan Grace uh, has the title shot at Sacrifice for whomever wins this matchup. Oh! And I'm going to have a rematch against Giselle. It's, it's non-negotiable. I deserve it. There's the cover. Hold on, hook to the leg to win the championship and a kick out by James. Nikki James, proven why she is so resilient. Shaw, the look on her face, very frustrated that James continues to hold on in the main event. Wow, Shaw, a handful of hair, has gotta be careful she doesn't get disqualified. Oh. And in this championship matchup is really pushing the limits of this, of the rules of this match, we're gonna be honest. Yeah, but some great power on display there from Shaw. A very arrogant cover there. If she keeps doing that, she's gonna get disqualified. She's not even gonna win the title. You know what? Mickey James is known to use a few of those tactics lately, so it's just retribution. Turnabout is fair play, especially in the ring. Oh. Shot to the lower back there by Shaw. And Shaw, again, has got to be careful. The official is all over Shaw. She's taking every advantage she can get. She knows what's on the line here. And now Mickey James, as she's done for the 24 years she's gotten professional wrestling, battling back. Oh! Oh! oh. Now it's getting really nasty. Oh. oh! That's a classic Mickey James. Oh, now Shaw. Shaw with chops here again to Mickey James. Found a weakness, is going after it. Deanna, you talked about those chops being no joke. Now James, oh, oh out of the corner, and both of them hitting heads in the middle of the ring. Same idea. Puts both athletes on the mat. Count of four by the official. Both knockouts have to the count of ten to get back up to their feet so this world title match can continue. You wouldn't want this incredible main event to end on a double count out. Shaw to her feet first. Oh, and a straight right by Shaw. 
Oh! Look at the extension straight out of her head. And now James with a big right to Shaw. Oh! James playing Shaw's game here with these heavy strikes. And now Mickey James able to level Shaw. One more time, building a huge amount of momentum here. But will it be enough to close this one out? The patented resilience of Mickey James. And now dropping Giselle Shaw once again. And Mickey James wants to go up top one more time in this match. Has got Giselle Shaw down. I'm glad she went to the other corner because I was like, Jay and Savannah are up. If she makes that mistake again, it could cost her. That's a great point. Will it pay off? And it does. Takes down Shaw to hold on to the championship. Shaw able to kick out. But just barely look at the face of Mickey James. A little bit of disbelief there. But Dahl and Evans looking on. Evans and oh. now went for the mid kick. Oh, oh, and a super kick by Shaw. Swing and a miss from James. Opens the door. Oh. Whoa! Went for the denouement. The knee strike. And now look at Mickey James. Look at the, the McDT. Wait, wait, look at James now. Oh! Oh, and Deanna Perazzo taking the Dahl off the apron. And Evans is in the ring. Deanna out of nowhere here. And wait, oh, wait, 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 wait! Shaw, Shaw trying to catch James, and Perrazzo turns this. it around! Evans out of the ring! Cover! That's James it. beats Shaw! Here's your winner, and still knockouts world champion, Mickey James! I never thought I'd see the day whether Perrazzo meant to help Mickey James or not. The Virtuosa helped Mickey retain her title! You took the words out of my mouth, Tom. I mean, she did mean to, whether that was her main intention or not. She wanted to stick it to Shaw, and in doing so, a very strange kind of alliance. I am in utter disbelief. Giselle Shaw comes up empty. Tiana Peraza with some curious actions, but now Mickey James could look forward to defending her title against Jordan Grace in Windsor, Ontario at Sacrifice.